What's going on, Bruin fans and college basketball fans? Uh, so as we all know, UCLA got the win, 78-76 over the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, definitely a ugly ending, to say the least. Uh, I think UCLA was plus one underdog, so if you're one of those Vegas people who had a reverse line or something on us and had us blowing them out, uh, well, too bad for you. But for most people who bet, who had the line and just bet on UCLA, minus one or plus one, you should have had it. Uh, this, you know, if you've watched UCLA hoops all year, like I have, uh, this doesn't surprise you at all. Uh, UCLA will get to a lead, make you feel comfortable, make you feel happy, and all of a sudden, boom, uh, they'll like to just let the lead chip away. And it's happened all season long. Uh, it's happened against uh, UC Irvine. I, we had a game like that where we were missing free throws, barely holding on. Had a game like that against Cal where... Reeves Nelson happened to get be there and make a game-winning layup, but it was a stupid game where we blew the game, the lead away. This was also against Stanford, where uh, it was close in Maples Pavilion. We let the game get close, and then uh, we also had the same problem against uh, Arizona State. All, all bad teams are mediocre teams that UCLA has barely squeaked by, and uh, goodness, uh, yeah, no style points at all. Typical ugly basketball that we've seen all year uh doesn't surprise me so as i said you know before the game i said if they put their mind to it we win this game take advantage of the size down low reeves nelson did just that with a lot of rebounding double double uh, obviously malcolm lee did did his job tyler honeycutt doing a lot of things in the box score whether it's steals or blocks i mean we have a very good presence down low and i think I think it showed. Uh, Josh Smith did all right, too, despite a little bit of foul trouble. But other than that, uh, this team did its job. They were missing the free throws, and that's been a problem all year long. But uh, I'm not, you know, we got the win, and that's all that matters. Uh, technically speaking, we did dominate this game despite the ending. I mean, Michigan State did dig themselves a hole. Uh, you know, Kalen Lucas and Draymond Green, great effort by those guys out there. I think Draymond Green had a triple-double in the box score, so, uh, you know, props to them. You know, maybe if Corey Lucius was there and he didn't have his troubles and, you know, being kicked off and transferring and whatnot, maybe this game would have been different, but as I said before, Michigan State is down, and, uh, you know, Izzo had these guys play until the final gun, which, which is what I expected. Michigan State's, you know, they have a great coach, just not the great personnel that they've had in the past, uh, but UCLA got the job done, and I'm very happy for that, uh, that's really all you could ask for. A win's a win, loss is a loss. Uh, despite blowing a fat lead, that, this is what UCLA hoops has done all year. I'm pretty used to it now. It's ugly. So going into the next game, we have Florida, and uh, I know a lot of us still think of 2006, 2007, losing to them. I mean, I don't really see it as a shot for revenge. I don't, because it's only Billy Donovan and Ben Howland who are on both of those teams, obviously. The personnel was way different than those teams of the past. Uh, <laughs> plus that 2007 that made the Final Four overachieved, to be honest. I didn't think that 07 team was really good with the Reds Amada down low. But, yeah, Florida, kind of our kryptonite almost. And uh, sorry, Augusta Gator, I don't know the players very well. You're going to have to inform me there. But what I do know is they dominated their competition today. Everyone was questioning, are they a two-seed? Are they worthy of a two-seed? Well, <laughs> Today they showed it, even though it was against another team from Southern Cal in UC Santa Barbara. They're uh, you know, a little bit to the west and uh, a little up north from where UCLA is, about an, about an hour away. So uh, Santa Barbara, the Gauchos got blown out, as expected. And uh, UCLA, they're just going to need to show some composure. All The whole 40 minutes, uh, that's what I've complained about all season. Can this team play a 40-minute game with all good composure? You know, they did that against Arizona to end the uh, Poly Pavilion season, but can they c keep that composure? That That's the big thing. Uh, once again, take advantage of our down-low post and uh, play Ben Howland defense. Uh, you know, the defense couldn't do it against the Florida teams of the past. Uh, it was just a matchup thing. But luckily, this team, this Florida team we're facing, there's no Joakim Noah, there's no... Uh, there's no uh, Al Horford, there's no Lee Humphrey, no Teron Green, no Corey Brewer. Don't have to worry about those guys. This this is a different Florida team. They're good, but I don't think they're that great team that is worthy of a two-seed. 
But they, as, on paper, they're the better team, and I'm not going to question that. Let's go out there and actually show some composure, prove the world wrong, and hey, break my bracket. My bracket doesn't even have UCLA winning this game. I had us beating Michigan State, but you know my unbiased bracket did not have UCLA advancing to the Sweet 16. So I'd love to be proved wrong, and I'd love to see uh, Reeves Nelson and Josh Smith really break out. Because they're gonna need those are the two guys that are really gonna need to break out as long, along with Malcolm Lee, we're gonna need to see a lot of that everywhere if we want to pull the upset. You know, overall great tournament so far. We've had some nice wins and a lot of nice close games to start the uh, the morning, some of the morning games and early afternoon. A lot of close games. Morehead State shocks the world there, uh, and thank you to the Richmond Spiders for uh, proving me right. That was my lock upset, my guarantee, if you want to call it that, and. The Richmond Spiders after came back from eight points down, showed some good composure on the offensive rebounds, had some great defense at the end, uh, stopped Vanderbilt from even getting a good shot off in the, the last 20 seconds. So great job to the Richmond Spiders. Thank you for proving me right. And, uh, you know, let's, let's pull the upset on Florida. Uh, once again, the video might come very late, so don't, don't expect it to be up immediately. But until then, see you guys later, and it's good to see a Bruin win. Good to see us win in the tournament, even if it was as ugly as the VCU game last year. So, see you guys later.